Hey, uh, you know, we all like to take summer road trips, but uh, a word of caution here, make sure that your car is ready to handle the heat when it gets hot like it's gonna get this summer. So we have a 2019 Dodge Hellcat, all 707 horsepower. It is an awesome ride. And Johnny Martinez is here from Larry H. Miller Dodge Ram Peoria over at Bell Road in the 101. Johnny, how you doing? Good morning, sir. Of course how are you, guys you picked doing? the fast yes. car to come over here. You're the GM over there. So let's first of all talk about some of the things you need to do just to make sure your car is okay and when it gets hot out. Well, there's a few different tips. The first one yeah. would be maybe a uh, uh, a road care kit. Okay. It includes a bottle of water, first aid kits, some road flares, charging station for your phone so you're not stuck without a charge, that's battery, a and maybe a couple of snacks. That's a good idea. You know what else I throw in my trunk? Uh, a big towel, like a beach towel, an old towel, just in case you ever have a flat tire and you need to get down on the pavement. That pavement Because the gets pavement is really hot. Yes, so absolutely. I throw a towel in there. What about like tire pressure? That's well, really important, isn't it? Especially with this hot, hot pavement. Yeah. It's good to have a couple of tools on hand. Like uh -huh. a, there's a, a, a tread depth gauge and a tire pressure gauge okay because when your tires get under inflated they run they, there's a lot of friction created on that pavement okay create all some blowouts all right and then uh, what else AC checks AC so it's good to take it into your local dealer and have the AC checked for make sure it's, it's loaded up with some Freon and there's no leaks in the system right and then your other fluids as well like your radiator of course you never want to overheat the new cars are they're, they're good about handling the heat but you just never know a lot of them are pretty much maintenance free but it's good to have your, your engine cooling topped off your oil and uh, say for instance your brake fluid and your power steering fluid so you're not left stuck on the side of the road uh, okay then uh, your battery I mean this heat is a killer on batteries, isn't especially it? in this environment. Yeah. So it's good to make sure that uh, one, you get it checked on a regular basis. Number two, that it's tied down and not shifting around because that friction creates a lot of issues for these batteries okay, here in this a good weather. Idea. You know, the thing about batteries, my experience anyway, is when they go, it's not like you have, oh, I've got a battery. I can get a couple more weeks. They just go and all of a sudden, oh, no, it won't start. Most opportune movements is when it goes. Yeah, you're right. What does what a battery last in this heat of a couple years? On average, of two and a half years. Two, two and a half years. All right, anything else? As far as that goes, no, just uh, a lot of dealerships and, and um, local automotive shops do offer uh, pre-road site, pre-road um, trip tests. Okay. So that you can go and get your, your tire pressure checked, make sure your tread's good, um, your AC checked, and, and that's all free of cost. Okay, that's a good idea because, uh, and then water, you mentioned the bottles of water. Gosh, throw a gallon in your trunk because you just never know when you, you might never get know. stranded no, somewhere no. and you got to have that water. A good uh, thing to know as well, and not to interrupt, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, is when you, it, say for instance, if you do have a blowout on the uh, on the highway make sure you pull off to a safe place I know you're so uh, right. up to the side of the road preferably the right side of the shoulder yeah and if you're driving a Dodge Hellcat like this that goes 202 miles an hour I think or some keep it under the speed limit <laughs> right? no tickets right <laughs> it's kind of hard to do that I know <laughs> it is there's no doubt about it. Johnny thank you so much for coming by we appreciate it uh, we just want to wish everyone uh, safe driving this summer and be be uh, careful out there thank you guys